Libra, welcome to Window to the Soul. My name is Gemma and this is your Celtic Cross for April 2021. We're going to get some cards on the table for you today and just see what comes up. Um, I'm about halfway through now all of the signs and there does seem to have been a distinct lack of romance. Um, maybe you'll be tapping into some kind of romantic connection here Libra. If not, I will be doing both sides of the story in a week or two for each of the signs and in that reading um, the intention is very much um, to be tapping into a romantic connection. On this occasion it really is whatever the cards bring up saying all of that your main energy for april is the two of cups coming together with somebody is this what you're doing or is this the desire what's crossing you making future plans okay 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 this this actually for some of you could be very very simply a case of you're struggling to physically be with the person that you would like to to be with that you desire to be with whether that be a, a romantic connection or just somebody you deeply deeply care about of course we deeply care about our friends and our family members i think something is preventing you from seeing somebody can we say quarantine and pandemic? Um, I think that is the case for a lot of people. Um, you know, we live in a, a very small world now, don't we? Where, you know, with the internet, we I have friends that live in Europe. I have friends that live in America. And I don't just mean internet friends. I mean IRL friends, real life friends that I have met, that I have spent time with, that I've gone on holiday with. But they live thousands and thousands of miles away from me and of course the majority of my communication with them is online but then you know we meet up and we have good times together and of course the pandemic that's been virtually impossible to do so perhaps there's a specific arrangement or a plan that you have that's been scuppered in some way let's get some more cards and explore where this goes what lies at the root of the situation is the fall starting again yeah looking for that fresh new beginning there i think that's you know the fall is a very hopeful energy recent past the lovers you might be dealing with a gemini here the fall is aquarius energy you've got aries and cancer on the table here as well um yeah whomever this is that you're dealing with libra what i can tell you with even with so few cards on the table at this stage is you really, really, really care for this person. Like I said, not necessarily a romantic connection, but there is clearly deep, deep affection here. And I would say it's mutual. I would say it's absolutely a mutually felt connection. I don't think there's any problem with this person. Or the relationship but i do believe there may be some external circumstances that are presenting challenges what's on your mind libra the queen of swords your queen okay i think you're trying to i think you've had a setback of some kind some kind of disappointment as i said possibly not anybody's fault and i think in your mind you're just trying to be kind of very pragmatic about it trying not to be too disappointed maybe this is the anticipation of something not quite working the way that you'd hoped, you know, being disappointed, not being able to meet up with this person, not being able to spend time, and maybe you're kind of not putting all of your eggs in that basket, kind of preempting. Okay, um, if it doesn't happen, we'll go to plan B, trying to kind of prepare for the worst and hope for the best here. Um, moving into the future is the five of wands. Yeah, I would say you might. I think you, you the anticipation here of some plans falling through is very well placed advice and guidance is the high priestess beautiful what you need to know is the four of wands 
also beautiful this you have some gorgeous cards on the table oh <laughs> there's your hopes and fears hello el diablo how's it going he has dominated this april batch of readings across almost every single sign aries got him twice um yeah i usually have one or two cards that utterly dominate each monthly batch it's never been the devil before what is going on why is everybody presenting the devil now do be reassured libra that you have the devil in your hopes and your fears position which means that Hopes and fears are just that, aren't they? It's natural to have hopes and fears, and they can, of course, be intricately tied up with each other. You hope for something, you fear it may not happen. Um, but it is just a hope or a fear. We're not talking about a pred prediction or an outcome here. With Your outcome, your overall outcome, is the Queen of Wands, which is beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, we've got Queens and high, the High Priestess here. These These are beautiful as a combination here the lovers and the high priestess there um, this is also an interesting combination um, because of the similarities that are in these cards that angel and devil kind of vibration that we have going on the the lovers feature in both of these cards so yeah there's some interesting stuff going on for you here libra um, the signs let me just run through them quickly for you Cancer, Aquarius, Aries, Gemini, Leo, Cancer again, Aries again, Capricorn. Okay. There is a desire here to connect. And I do feel it's you want to physically connect with somebody here. Um, and I think this person for whatever reason feels far away from you it could be that they literally live in another country like myself with many of my friends live in a different state live in a different town not easily reachable or it could be more of a metaphorical distance that's between you but i am getting honestly for a lot of you this is a physical distance um so what's going on The nine of wands, the moon in Sagittarius. Hmm. I think you're fighting in some way. Um, kind of jump. Oh, okay. I'm hearing the phrase jumping through hopes to be with this person, to connect with this person. I don't think you have a problem in your connection with this person. This very much feels like external situations i think you are fearing something interfering look how he's kind of side glancing there like he's almost asking himself oh what's next what's next have i considered everything have i put everything in place are all of the plans set here or will there be another hoop to jump through will there be something else i have to do have i thought about everything or is something going to kind of blindside me um yeah i think the phrase oh it's like you're not preparing to fail but you're kind of worried that you'll fail and hoping that you won't we've spoken about this this potential long distance thing this wanting to very much reach out yeah okay leo energy i think you really miss this person and i think you're trying to stay on the bright side very libra wanting to look at the the positive of this situation so this could be like i really miss you i really want to connect with you i really want to spend time with you but i'm grateful that we have the internet i'm grateful that we can talk to to each other i'm grateful that we can i can see you like maybe on a camera call or something like that i am i'm wonderfully grateful for all of those things i'm just happy to have you in my life 
you know you can literally speak to somebody every single day and be very very connected with that person and as i said live thousands of miles away hundreds of miles thousands of miles um i think you're trying very hard to look on the bright side but i think you are anticipating some kind of disappointment here um but again hoping very much for the best as i said this is clearly a reciprocated connection here 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 and here it's very clearly a reciprocated um basically libra they miss you too they miss you too i think you're both going through this together i think you maybe have put plans into motion or you would like to put a plan into motion maybe you've had a plan for a long time um, look how the fool took his leap but then last minute grabbed hold of the cliff here like we were so close so close knight of wands you want to have some fun and frolics and laughter with this person you want to live in the moment and it's almost like you're being held back from being able to fully embrace i think you have loads and loads of fun with this person i think this person is just like your favorite person in the whole world or it could be a group of friends um i think you miss them i think you don't just miss the deep you know it's not just that this is a deep intense personal connection for you with a great degree of love a great degree of love and emotions i think this person's fun as well um and that's when you miss the adventure of it you know i know like i said i keep using myself as an example here but you know a lot of this does resonate with me even though i, I have no libra in my chart um i ha you know the, the friends that i have that live all over the world when we do come together oh my goodness me we just have the best time we just have the best time it's just non-stop laughing with these people in the recent past i think you have connected you know what we've got is kind of like like i said the major and minor arcana version of this energy and in the past does it not feel far more real and tangible because the lovers is here and then we have the minor like i want to recreate and recapture the sentiment that we have once shared i do believe if this is long term maybe you met online i do believe you have met this person irl um for anybody that doesn't know what that means it means in real life i do believe you have and if you haven't yeah i think i think it doesn't matter you know maybe you speak to them regularly on camera i think you're very familiar and comfortable with this person there is a familiarity here and patience yeah you've waited so long to be able to kind of do this again with this person it's been too long hasn't it you've been patient you've waited here you are very pragmatic like like i said um hoping for the best but maybe anticipating disappointment you're doing that because you're trying to be very logical and practical about this and realistic about what may come and recognizing you might have to be on your own for a little longer oh that kind of sucks you know the world is such a small place yes but long distance connections can make you feel very isolated and lonely sometimes and you feel like the people that you truly truly connect with don't even live on the same continent as you i know that can be really hard um i think you're fine i think you're okay you're more than capable of taking care of yourself but it's not what you need it's definitely what you want though moving into the future it looks as though you might have been on the money regarding this disappointment but let's explore yeah yeah ah oh, that's a shame it does look as though some immediate plans for april may fall through um remember this is a reading for april i think that anticipation of the disappointment is was very much you i think you kind of knew 
your intuition kind of knew. Um, it might not be a full-blown cancellation. Maybe there's a group of you hoping to connect and one or two can't make it and that's disappointing but you know you can make the best of 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 what what is available maybe it is a full-blown cancellation you know the tower is it's mm, usually it's a shock but this would suggest you are trying to prepare yourself for the worst here so i don't think it's going to be quite so much of a shock somebody might be shocked there's definitely disappointment here i'm afraid to say your advice and guidance is to trust your intuition here. Regarding what, though? The world card absolutely speaks, among many, many things, of travel. World travel. This spread is screaming long distance. And the advice and guidance is to hold on to the trust. You know you will meet this person again. You will spend time with this person again. Maybe... This initial disappointment is frustrating, is upsetting, sucks. But the advice and guidance is to hold on to the fact that the, this, the world is going to open up again to you in a way that will enable you to see this person again. You're going to hold on to this connection. You're going to stay connected with this person. What you need to know is that celebrations are coming. Um... Yeah, you will get what you want. You will. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Try not to let it weigh too heavily on you. I would revert back to this energy here of kind of trying very hard to be very much your Libra self. And, you know, if you're going to accept the disappointments and the upset regarding this, well, Libra, li Libra likes to keep things balanced. So you will inevitably also look on the bright side as well and this is essentially when things might get tough things might get hard but you will see this person again you will connect with this person again and it will be fun and festive and there will it be like a when you do see this person again it will be it'll feel like a celebration um try not to let it get to you too much for now um libra you're generally a fairly patient and realistic and grounded sign um you know with the with the swords you're practical you're pragmatic you're thoughtful you're intelligent you're considered you're realistic you're the queen of swords um so kind of stay with that but also exercise this gratitude here for for the connection that you can have and and remember remember they miss you too they really really do miss you too this is definitely reciprocated your hopes and fears here what's going on here is there some jealousy the devil is a card of many things major arcanas deal with huge huge broad themes the devil is a card of restriction limitation and a feeling of being trapped perhaps that's how you feel right now you feel trapped you feel caged in i think many people in the world do right now especially like i'm rising sagittarius um sagittarius is and gemini as well both known as the travelers traveling is my thing exploring the world going to new places meeting new people i embrace that and it's been really hard to not be able to spread my wings this last year i've had many many trips cancelled i was supposed to be going to orlando i was supposed to be going to tuscany i was supposed to be going to gran canaria i had all these plans and every single one of them fell through the only one i managed to do in 2020 was berlin and that was i it was just really really lucky timing according to when they were lifting and lifting things and locking things back down again in both germany and england um, I was very lucky, very, very lucky. I'm very grateful that I was able to do that. Um, I know many people didn't get anything like that much. Um, but I think I think it's starting to weigh heavy on you, the, the feeling restricted here. Yeah, look at you. Oh, bless you. Trapped and restricted and just looking out across the horizon there thinking, I want to be there. I want to do this thing. I want to go there. Places to go and people to see and life to experience. And I'm just chained and trapped. It's, yes, yeah, it's, it's tough. 
it's tough isn't it it really is it sucks it really does and i think you know a few months in most people were were trying to keep a brave face on about a year down the line it's and for some places it's like they give with one hand and take with the other you know so and we're you know we've had governments promise us that we're, they will be lifting restrictions only to lock us back down again i know it's a very difficult situation all around how best to manage this and each country each region is of course handling it in their own way um there is you know there's no manual for this everybody's just kind of learning on the job with this whole situation so we're trying on the one hand to kind of be understanding and supportive of other people but i think the frustration of feeling so restricted is is getting to you libra because look the queen of wands is the ultimate social butterfly she flits around from friendship group to friendship group i know how much you libra value your friendships you possibly have many friends many different groups of friends as well that's a very libra thing to do um you you have this urge to do this <laughs> wow okay is there a special somebody here that you would like to do all of this with this is positive energy though it's certainly positive energy and typical Libra to be presented with a pretty depressing, miserable scenario and just relentlessly look on the bright side. It's OK to have a low moment because I know you will balance that low moment out with a high moment. I think right now you in April, it does look as though there is a specific tangible disappointment and i think that's going to knock you back and that's going to kind of hit hard but i think you'll bounce back i think you'll bounce back you're a libra you always bounce back i think you'll be fine there is a reason why libra are the sign that watches these readings the least libra are consistent consistently the least watched sign on the entirety of my channel and it's because libras generally are able to look on the bright side all by themselves because that constant striving for balance um so they're possibly the least likely to get lost or stuck in a dark place and when you're in a dark place that's when you often reach out for help and guidance libra will forever be in that middle place um Sometimes I think to myself, you know, I should just not bother doing Libra because no, no, no Libras ever watch anyway. <laughs> but I have cross watchers as well. And as you know, I am a great believer that those that need the messages will receive the messages in the way that spirit intended. Um, it, I think it's a little stumbling block in the road i think i know that i can see that and i think you can see that as well it's okay to be a bit grumpy because you've had quite a disappointment about somebody you really care about and somebody who really cares about you but i think you'll bounce back i think you'll bounce back and you will see this person again next time you see this person on camera or call them or whatever sing we'll meet again don't know when don't know when but i know we'll meet again do that one and just kind of make light of it in the wonderful beautiful way that you do guys libra i'm sorry about the disappointment but as always i really enjoy your energy it's it's beautiful take care